Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be jumping in and creating a cool effect inside of Fusion in DaVinci Resolve 16. So have a quick look at what we're going to be creating. So pretty simple effect. It's just this sort of like, I guess, radar blip sort of effect. So we're gonna show you how to create that in Fusion. So let's jump in and get started. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create a new Fusion composition and name it whatever you want. Let's call it radar. Five seconds will be enough. And we're gonna drag that down onto the timeline. Cool, with the playhead over your composition, we can dump into Fusion and get started. Now, the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do for this particular effect is I'm gonna create a background for the effect. Now, you don't have to if you want it to be transparent and sort of show up on say a different image in your timeline. But for this example, we're gonna create a background. So I'm just gonna do a light gray texture. Cool, and to keep things nice and organized, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this one and we're just gonna call it BG for background. Now I'm gonna create our little circle. So I'm gonna create another background node, merge it by dragging the output to the output of the original. So that's gonna put it on top. And we're gonna change the color to, for this one, let's do a teal sort of radar effect. Awesome. And we can rename this one as well. And do a radar, cool. Now the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to add the ellipse. So that's going to create our little circle there. And now all we need to do is do a little expression so that we can animate this circle evenly. So currently if you go into the inspector under the ellipse, you have the width and height, which animate sort of separately. It's not what we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click in the width, get rid of everything and hit the equal sign and hit enter. That's going to basically create a expression box. And what we're gonna do is grab that plus sign and connect it to the height and hit enter. And now we basically have, so the width will equal the height. So if we animate the height, it will change that. Cool. So what we're gonna wanna do is now we're gonna start animating and the animating process is relatively simple. To make it even easier, what we're gonna do is we're going to start at point one and we're gonna set a keyframe for both. We're gonna move forward to frame nine. Okay, so now we've got this little animation there. Okay, so it kind of goes up and then back down. And then the same thing, we're gonna to go to 19. We're going to have it go to that one, go forward one more frame, and then back to point one. So now we've got this sort of this sort of up animation, pretty simple. And what we're gonna do, rather than continuously go through and animate this, we can go through to our keyframe editor, drop the ellipse down, and we've got these keyframes here. If we zoom, click this button to fit it, what we can actually do, these keyframes here, right click and go copy points. And all we're gonna wanna do is go forward. So obviously this one ended here. So we're gonna go forward to 29 and paste, right click, go paste points and value. And now we've just gone through and we've done it again. We're gonna now go forward to 49 and I'm just sort of guessing this one here, but obviously you can see your frame rate there. Same thing, right click, paste points and value. And I'm not gonna go through and do the whole thing, but as you can see, that's how you would go through and you just keep going and paste the whole thing. Pretty simple. So now if we play this through, got our little radar effect there. Next thing what we're gonna to wanna to do is, is animate the opacity so that it kind of fades out. So to do that, what we're actually gonna do is animate the blend on the merge nodes. If you select the merge node, go to the inspector, we have our blend tool. And this is where it's sort of, it's kind of like the opacity, it's how it blends with the layer behind it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to frame five or four, sort of somewhere in the middle, and we're going to set the keyframe at one. And then when we get to frame nine, just before it shrinks, we're going to set the blend to zero. So what we end up having is this circle that kind of comes in and then fades out. Okay, and then at frame 10, we're going to reset it, sort of like the opposite of what we're doing here. Same thing, gonna go to frame 15, set another keyframe, go forward to the end, drag it to zero, go forward, reset it. And as you can see, now all we need to do is go to this one, copy these, so right click, copy value or copy points, and we wanna paste it in the middle, so 25, and we're going to right click, paste points and value. Same thing, we can move forward to frame 45, five, make sure I'm frame 45, right click, paste points and value, and now we have our ring and it zooms in and sort of fades as it gets to the end of its life. And honestly, that's pretty much all we really need to do 
with this animation. Okay, so we've kind of got more or less the whole effect. Now, if we want to, we can go back to the ellipse and we can soften the edge a little bit. You don't, depends how much you want to do it. All right, give it a little bit less of a sort of clinical look there. And what I did as well is with the background node, so the radar one, we're gonna go shift space and we're gonna add a glow. And we're just going to increase the glow size a bit, the glow amount. And I did a change the apply mode to merge under. And what that does is gives us this cool ring here. If I had this set to the normal mode, you see you can't see that, but if we go to merge under, you get this little ring that sort of lingers. And I think that turned out quite well. And so now we've got this little blip that goes in and out like so. And honestly, guys, that's how you create the radar effect. Pretty simple effect to create inside of DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, all it really involves is a little bit of animating, copy and pasting. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and you can sort of see a use for this if you're maybe creating an army film or even if you want to like do little cursor blips or stuff like that. Plenty of uses for it. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more content. And yeah, until the next video, guys, see ya.